All right, guys, let's talk about repairs now. Repairs is another one of those numbers that everyone gets scared of. You can estimate your repairs on properties and you can do it pretty accurately. Now, there's always going to be that contractor that wants to come in and overbid the job by three times as much as you should be paying for it. But in, in our business, the way that we do properties, and I'm speaking as real estate investors in general, the ones that are actually successful, we, we estimate repairs. It's the way it works. Because we want to get our foot in the door as soon as a property is available. Property comes in, I'm going to estimate my repairs, and I'm going to run my numbers, and I'm going to put my offer out there. Because I want to be close enough where I can go out to the property then if the offer is accepted, and I can walk it with my contractor at that point. Because I've got it locked up. I've got my due diligence time frame. I've got time to, to schedule my contractor and do that. But I want to get my offer in there first. I want the seller to see that I'm serious. I can pull the trigger. Boom. Here's my offer. And I do it by basing my repairs on estimates. And that's the, there's all different ways to estimate your repairs. Um, I've, and I've gone through a lot of different classes on it. I've, I've gone into construction classes. I've uh, talked with contractors. I've talked with other investors all across the country. Um, some of them want you to pencil out every single line item. They want you to count the outlets and, and count the light switches and how many bulbs are going to be in the house, how many air filters you need. By the end of it, you have a five-page sheet with all these little marks and you have to add it up. All of that takes time. you got to go walk the property. We don't want to do that. We want to make a quick estimate so that we can get that foot in the door. And you have to realize that there's all different levels of repair, all different levels of damage. And that the system we put together for you takes that into account. Now, there's always going to be special properties, oddball properties, unique properties, uh, properties that have different levels of damage. You as a beginning real estate investor, you shouldn't be going after the oddball properties, the, the, the difficult ones. You shouldn't be going after properties with a lot of fire damage or water damage or mold or known asbestos issues. There are going to be problems. There's going to be headaches. There's going to be a lot of unknowns that come into properties like that. Properties that you know there's a termite infestation. Uh, you get into those kind of houses and you could have a repair budget of 40000 that quickly jumps to 70000 once you start tearing open the walls and figuring out what you actually do need to re replace. So you as the beginning investor, you should not be looking for those kind of houses. So quick repair estimates. That's the way we do it. And then you get your contractor in after the offer is accepted. And it, if the, your numbers are off, if your your number was at twenty thousand for repairs and the contractor comes in at thirty five thousand, it's okay. You can go back to the seller and say, "Hey, upon further review, we found more repairs than we anticipated, and we have to have the purchase price at one hundred and seventy thousand instead of one hundred and eighty five thousand. It's all a conversation when we're talking about offers. So be comfortable in that and know that the repair way, the estimate uh, for repairs is the way to do it. So we're going to talk about the first level of repair, and that's your your lipstick or rental remodel, where you're not doing a whole lot to the house. You're cleaning it up, you're freshening it up, and you're making it move in ready. You're fixing all the little problems. The house isn't in bad shape. It's dated, it's dirty, and it needs a little pizzazz brought to it, but it might be in a... Um, a lower end part of town where you don't need to put in brand new cam that's high end appliances and stone flooring. You just need a simple lipstick or rental remodel. And the estimate on this, and, and this is from me doing hundreds of deals across the country and talking with uh, multiple investors that I know. And, and together we, we analyze thousands of deals. And really what it comes to is about $14 a square foot. That's it. $14 a square foot. And this will include your items, your, like your carpet, paint, fixtures, uh, your minor drywall fixes, things like that. In these kind of houses, you typically don't have to scrape popcorn, replace the windows. You might have to replace some broken glass and panes, but not to uh, put it in all brand new windows. It's going to be a nice, move-in, ready, and livable house, but it's, you know, it's not going to be something that you're probably going to want to live in. It's going to be clean and livable for somebody else, 
you know, you always want to put out a good product, but it's not it's not the house you want to put your mom in. So a 12, uh, 1,240 square foot house, a typical remodel budget or repair budget for this size of house, and a lipstick job would be 17,360 in repair. I've done ones like this in different parts of the country for as little as eight and ten thousand dollars. So that's seventeen thousand three sixty. That's not just my prices because I get really good deals from my contractors because I give them repeat business. These are the type of prices that you should be able to get uh, as you go and 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 deal with contractors. And contractors love spending your money, so you're going to get bids that come in higher than this. Just make sure that they're not putting in that stone flooring when you're okay with a lot of carpet and, and maybe even linoleum in a house like this. So here's one that we did and a before and after picture. It's not, not a huge change. What did we do in this one? We did the, the paint, the granite, uh, some new fixtures, new appliances, tile flooring. We replaced the door knob and hinges, but we left the same flat door there. Um, it really was pretty basic remodel but it's clean, livable, and this house we, we got multiple offers on. People loved this one. Uh, but those cabinets, basic cabinets, it was just a lipstick remodel. Now the next level up is your standard remodel. This is, you're doing a little bit more in these ones. At $18 a square foot, you're gonna be able to replace those cabinets, uh, do some more nicer flooring, not, not top end flooring, but you'll do some more tile or wood depending on what part of the country you're in. And as you're in different parts of the country, you're going to see that your remodels should be different because when you're in uh, the Northeast or the Midwest, you're going to see a lot of wood flooring. If you're down in the Southwest or, or the West Coast, uh, the Southwest Coast, you're going to see a lot of tile flooring. It's just what the markets prefer. Same thing with the Southeast. You're going to see a lot of tile flooring down there. Uh, and you know what to put into your properties by looking at your comparable sales. Your comparable sales will tell you what level of remodel you should do. If I'm looking at my comps uh, and, and it's all lipstick remodels on them, I'm not going to do a standard remodel and pay m that much more when I can just do a lipstick remodel. Now, that same 1,240 uh, square foot house ends up being about 5,000 square feet or $5,000 more in that repair estimate. And you, you're going to be able to get bids like this. The cabinets, now a lot of these cabinets that we put into properties... And we got some pictures here. Those are those are some good looking cabinets in here. They are all pre built, nice and easy, um, probably all Chinese made, uh, but they're they're not cheap, junky cabinets. They they have a nice look to them. They have soft close hinges and soft close drawers. Uh, we have upgraded handles on it, and we're still doing this at that pricing. So. You can put a nice granite in, and you notice where this isn't over the top. It's it's a basic appliance package still. It's stainless steel, which is upgraded, but we don't have a custom backsplash in this house. It didn't warrant it. This was just a standard remodel. Now you're gonna see houses that are tore up, they're vandalized, they're 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 heavily damaged. You're gonna have more items that you need to repair. Uh, your the copper will be stripped out of the house. The, the wiring, the plumbing, uh, the air conditioning might have been uh, um, half gutted, water heater might have been stolen, all different things. There's, there's holes in the drywall. You'll see it all as you get further and further into this business. Now, to have a standard finish on these houses, because if you're starting to replace things, you, you kind of just end up replacing it all. A vandalized remodel is about $26 a square foot. So again, that same 1240 square foot house is a $32,000 remodel. That's about 10,000 more than your standard remodel. But once you start getting into mechanical systems, prices go up. Now here's one that we had and uh, just before and after of the, the kitchen. In the, the before picture, you can see the where the drywall is all torn up and there's actually a door leading outside there. In the after, you can see that we closed off that door. As you get into these vandalized ones, the ones that are really tore up, you can you can go ahead and make those changes to these houses when it makes sense, because you're already tearing into things. You might as well make it right and make it functional and livable. Now these are again new cabinets in here. Uh, this house actually had 
uh, graffiti all in every room. And the only graffiti in this kitchen was actually on the refrigerator. But every room had dark red graffiti. And uh, we used gallons and gallons of kills. It's a type of paint that's it's a heavy paint that covers. Uh, but that graffiti kept wanting to bleed through. I think in one room we had to do four coats in it. But that's that's where all these little expenses add up on these vandalized houses. So um, that $26 a square foot will cover that. Now your upgraded remodel. When you get into some markets, you're going to see that you, you have to do a little extra. You have to have the nicer appliance package. You have to have a uh, inlaid stone flooring. You have to have a, a nice, uh, fully finished, decorative bathroom in the master bath. All these things. Now, I'm not talking high-end, that golden toilet. You don't have to put that into houses. Um, but for an upgraded remodel, you're going to be $32 a square foot. And that will give you these nicer things where if you want to do a, a, a nice custom stone fireplace. And that's, I mean, we're, we're a bit further from our $17,000 uh, uh, repair estimate on the uh, lipstick remodel. But this is going to afford you the, the room to do nice things in the house if it's warranted. And that means if the comps show you that you should be doing it. So in this one, this was a, a master bathroom here. So you can see we have the same cabinets as we did in our standard remodel, but the the countertops we did different. These are a a marble countertop instead of a granite countertop. We changed the bathtub to a drop-in tub, a soaking tub with a jacuzzi. Uh, um, you know, just a, lot, a little more upgrades to it. Uh, you can kind of see the shower enclosure. It's a butted glass shower enclosure. We, we went all out on this one. We upgraded the doors in this house, too, where you see the two panel doors in the mirror reflection, uh, upgraded light fixtures. And that's what you have to do in some of these houses if the comps warrant it. Now, every bathroom will look good like this. You know, it's going to be beautiful if you put it in that lipstick remodel. But you're not going to get the return on it. Don't over-improve your properties to the point where you're losing money. You always want to go a little bit more. Because the lipstick remodel at $14 a square foot, that should afford you to do a little bit more than what other people are doing on their lipstick remodels. Maybe they have all carpet and some linoleum in the wet areas. The wet areas are your kitchen, your bathrooms, your laundry room. But at $14 a square foot, you should be able to put tile in. Tile is not that expensive. The tile that we typically put into houses in our lipsticks and standards the material itself is about a dollar a square foot, and that's a 20-inch tile. And uh, the labor on that is somewhere between a dollar fifty and two dollars. So about three dollars a square foot to put tile into houses. It's not that expensive. Uh, paint, uh, depending on the market that we're in, uh, paint will average from eighty cents a square foot up to a uh, dollar forty. I think is the highest I, I pay for paint, and that's two-tone paint. You know, your, your ceilings and your, your baseboards, your trim are all one color and your interior walls are another color. And whenever a, a painter comes into your house and wants to measure the size of the walls, he's going to pay you too, or charge you too much. You don't want that. We'll talk more about contractors later. Standard remodel, $18 a square foot. Again, it's these numbers, these figures have enough of a little bit of a bump in them for you so that you can do a little bit nicer than what everyone else is doing, but not to the point that you're over-improving the houses. Vandalized remodeled house, or a vandalized remodel, $26 a square foot, affords you to fix, fix the things that you're going to have to fix that you might not know right off the bat. Because when the house is vandalized, there's always extra little things that you just didn't know. Um, and a lot of times, if a house has been vandalized, it'll get vandalized again. So people will break back in. They'll, uh, you know, maybe there was a squatter there and they, they come back in, break the window, whatever. It's, you know, that might be another $1,000 on top of your budget. But $26 a square foot, that's a pretty safe budget number for you. Upgraded remodel, $32 a square foot. You get to do some nice stuff. Now, once you start going into high-end properties, it's going to be a very different repair estimate. You as a beginning real estate investor should not, be doing those type of properties start with the the entry level houses the houses that sell fast that you can repair fast the lipstick remodels your standard remodels that's that's what you want to do everybody has a dream about remodeling a five million dollar house well 
the carrying costs on a $5 million house could be $50,000 a month. So just think about that. Levels of repair, these are the repair estimates so you can get that foot in the door. All right, we're out.